Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya So we picked the verse from the first canto, first chapter, questioned by the sages, is text number 22. Twamna Sandarshito Datra Twamna Sandarshito Datra Twamna Sandarshito Datra Twamna Sandarshito Datra Dushtaram Nishtitish Satam Dushtaram Nishtitish Satam Kalim Sadva Aram Pumsam Kalim Sadva Aram Pumsam Kanadara Ivarna Bam Kanadara Ivarna Bam Twamna Sandarshito Datra Dushtaram Nishtitir Satam Kalim Sadva Haram Pumsam Karnadara Ivarnavam Twamna Sandarshito Datra Dushtaram Nishtitir Shatam Kalim Sadva Haram Pumsam Karnadara Ivarnavam Bye. 
and better qualities. A list of the anomalies for this age is given in the twelfth canto of this work. And so this age is very difficult for those who want to utilize this life for self-realization. The people are so busy with sense gratification that they completely forget about self-realization. Out of madness, they frankly say that there is no need for self-realization because they do not realize that this brief lifespan that this brief life is but a moment on our great journey towards self-realization. The whole system of education is geared to sense gratification. And if a learned man thinks it over, he sees that the children of this age are being intentionally sent to the slaughterhouses of so-called education. Learned men, therefore, must be cautious of this age. And if they at all want to cross over the dangerous ocean of Cali, they must follow the footsteps of the sages of Naimisharanya and accept Sri Sutta Goswami or his bona fide representative as the captain of the ship. The ship is this message of Lord Sri Krishna in the shape of Bhagavad Gita or Srimad Bhagavata. <coughs> 人生是装备着自我而设的感官祥乐以致完全忘了呈现的圣主Krishna的信息 Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yata Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shya Shri Rupam Sakrajatam Sahagana Raganatam Vitam Tam Satevam Satvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakanitam Sya E Krishna Karana Sindhu Dina Bandhu Chakatpate Rope Shakopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gorange Radhe Vrinda Vaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vanchakalpata Rubyascha Kripa Sintipa Yevacha 
पतिनाम भवानीभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्रीवास speaking to the on behalf of the sages in namasharanya and addressing sutta goswami so he is describing how it's only by great fortune we get the opportunity to contact the pure devotee of the lord so we feel very happy it was certainly quite a bit of a surprise for us to see so many people came to the temple last night i think that was the biggest crowd we ever had in the temple Even when we opened the temple, there were not so many people. And last year, Krishna Prakamita Prabhu told me last year they cooked the sadam for 500 people, and only 350 people came. But this year we must have had over a thousand people here. And they were cooking. They had to cook more and more and more. <laughs> They had to cook rice four times. <laughs> so more and more people were coming, and we saw at midnight there was a big, huge crowd here. So it was very wonderful to see that although Kali Yuga is present, still we can get so many people to the temple. So that is the mercy of Lord Chaitanya and Shri Prabhupada. Because Shri Prabhupada had desired that we would be nice preaching programs here in Malaysia, so by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya, it happened. Of course, we are warned that the age of Kali is a very dangerous time. We know there's a, a lot of dangers in this age. Everywhere you go, every step, there is danger. Srila Prabhupada was somehow, the devotees in New York in the early years, Srila Prabhupada had health problems and the devotees took him to the hospital. And uh, one of the doctors somehow he was, he put this huge needle into Prabhupada. And the devotee asked Prabhupada afterwards, said, Should the Prabhupada did it hurt you? Was it painful? And Prabhupada replied by quoting a verse from the scriptures. Samashrikaye padapalavam mahatpadam punya yasho marari bhavam budhye vatsapadam padam padam tadrupadam natesham. Prabhupada was telling the devotee that there's danger in every step. 
But for one who has accepted the shelter of the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord, then the ocean of material existence becomes an insignificant amount of water. So there is danger everywhere, and Prabhupada lists some of the problems which are there in the Kali Yuga. Short, we have a short life, we don't have a very long life. You, one of our devotees in Hong Kong, her husband died. She, the husband was only 50, just turned 50, just over 50, and left the body. I was talking to another lady here, and she told me also how her husband also left the body in his 50s. So you get to the age of 50 and you're very old, any time death can come. And then there are so many problems also, if you don't die, you're subject to so many different diseases. One of them is loss of memory, difficult to remember things. I really admire Chuang Yi She has a brilliant memory. She can remember so many things. So, <laughs> she's gifted. It's very rare that there's a lot of people who don't have that facility, who can't remember things. That devotee from Shanghai, what's the name again? The, the, the one leading the group of 12 devotees. Yeah, Jai Suchitra Mataji was telling me about her mother-in-law, that her mother-in-law, she, she has the loss of memory. They'll take her for a walk and then they'll bring her back and after she comes back, two minutes later, she'll say, will we go for a walk this morning? So, you know, that it's common, it, it's just one of these things in this Kali Yuga. You know, in previous ages, people had wonderful, sharp memories. They did not even write things down. They could simply hear. We hear and we hear and we hear and still we think, what was that? Prabhupada told the story that there was this one man, he was a witness to two other men arguing. And he was called to the court to give witness that the judge asked him what happened between these two men. So the man said to the judge, well, I don't speak their language. I could not understand what they were saying. But I will tell you everything they said. And the man went and he told, he told the judge everything which happened. 
He didn't understand any anything they were seeing, but his memory was so good. He heard and he remembered and he could repeat. So we are victims of the Kali Yuga, as predicted by Srila Vyasadeva in this first chapter of the Srimad Bhagavatam. Manda Samanda Matayo Manda Bhagyahi Upadrutaha. That we are lazy, misguided, unlucky, and above all, always disturbed. So as well as the short duration of life, we have all of these bad qualities. But somehow, by some great fortune, we get the opportunity to meet the pure devotee of the Lord. And when we are really fortunate, then we will accept that devotee to be the captain of our ship. Here, in this purport, Srila Prabhupada compares the ship to the message of the Srimad Bhagavatam or the Bhagavad Gita. In the Ishopanishad, Prabhupada gives a different example and he compares the human body to the boat. Captain of the ship is also there, the spiritual teacher. And the favorable breeze is represented by the Vedic literature. And the purpose of the boat is also to cross the ocean of material existence. So the ocean of material existence is very big, very vast. But if we take the shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord, it becomes insignificant. In the same way, the dangers of the Kali Yuga are not there if we take the shelter of the process of devotional service. We may have the material body, of course, we have the material body, but we're not really affected by all these things of the Kali Yuga if we stay in Krishna consciousness. Devotees are not lazy, they're up till midnight, on, like last night, they were up till midnight, after midnight, and they get up early, and f by f 5 o'clock they're all here in the temple for Mangalati. It's not lazy. So, of course, that is a special, it's not every day like that, but the devotees, uh, they accept this kind of austerity for the pleasure of Krishna. And devotees are not disturbed. The devotees simply take shelter of the holy name of Krishna. And in this way, they overcome all the disturbances. 
奉献人们也不会心烦意乱，因为他们托付于主的圣名，所以不会受到所有麻烦的打扰。The devotees are too busy chanting and dancing and serving Krishna. They're too busy to worry about the disturbance of the mind. 奉献人们都忙着每天嗯唱诵舞蹈做服务。As soon as you join in the Krishna conscious activities, then all of these disturbances of the mind are put aside and forgotten. So this is the mercy of Srila Prabhupada that he has given us. He's given us this wonderful process. By Shri Prabhupada's mercy, we are so fortunate that we could be here in this wonderful temple on such an auspicious day as Janmashtami and today the day of the Asapuja. We are able to join in with the fest the festivities with all the other devotees. If we did not have that opportunity to be with all the devotees, where would we be in the material world? Just like a dog floating in the ocean, where can he go? So we, if we would simply be lost in the ocean of material existence, suffering and bewildered. But we come to Krishna consciousness. And we take part in Krishna conscious activities, and everything becomes joyful. I know the devotees who have come out from faraway places. They, they when they once they come here, they don't feel like going away again. They don't feel like leaving. So we can understand that we have come home, that this is our real home. We talked about going back home, back to Godhead. This is our home here with Krishna. And Srila Prabhupada is here also to guide us. Srila Prabhupada is here to guide us. The captain of the ship, the captain of the ship, he will tell what speed to go and which way to go. So similarly, Srila Prabhupada is there directing us. Prabhupada put everything we need to know into his books. We just have to read his books. Devotees said, we want to see Krishna Prabhupada. So Prabhupada said, then read my books. And when just by reading books like Srimad Bhagavatam, one day you will see Krishna on the pages of Srimad Bhagavatam. So I think Srila Prabhupada must have been very pleased to see so many people come here to this temple yesterday. And we hope we can go on and increase this activities in our wonderful temple here. Every, every festival we want to see big crowds like that.
，我们希望我们这个庙庙里的活动会越来越兴旺。每一个节日都有很多的会众来到这里。And gradually, but even without festival, we want to have big crowds of people. 即便是不在节日的时候，也有很多的人能够来到这里就好了。It just simply takes patience and. Also, our own determination to be faithful and follow the process. We just need to have faith and be patient, and to follow the process. And there are many people, all bewildered, all suffering, looking for some path to find some way of improving their life. People are all very confused. 困惑的都在受苦，他们在寻找着怎么能改善、提升他们的生活。So、looking for economic development and sense gratification. 有些人呢，试图去嗯改善他们的经济条件，来改善他们的生活。But we can see since that, since especially since we've had this lockdown and the COVID and virus and so many things. Where people are seeing that just simply having a lot of material wealth, it, it, it's not the, really the answer. And people are more willing, more receptive to hear about spiritual knowledge. But they need to see the example. They need to be impressed that this is something genuine. They have to see that people are selfless. That they're not selfish. They're selfless. They're thinking about others. The, the, the devotees have built this temple not for their own comfortable living. Srila Prabhupada used to tell us our temples are a base for our armies to go out and fight Maya. So Prabhupada never worried very much about having big temples. But if the opportunity came, then of course, then Prabhupada would use it for Krishna. Just like when George Harrison gave Bhaktivedanta Manor, then Prabhupada went and stayed there for some time. Every day he was giving classes, morning and evening. And evening also. Yeah. And people were coming back right? in this way because teaching was going on. More and more people were coming to hear. So we are seeing here in this temple many youth. We saw so many youth last night doing wonderful kirtan. 我们是非常鼓励看到有很多年轻人在这里去进行美妙的天堂。所以看到有这么多年轻人对布什纳这些感兴趣，嗯，这很激励我们。Because they are, they are the future devotees. 他们是未来的奉献者。No. Old people, old people, we will leave the world soon. Sooner, sooner or later, we have to leave this world. So this temple will come to the young people, the youth, those who are the youth, they will inherit this property. 
And we want to see that they're enthusiastic and eager to also preach Krishna consciousness. Lord Chaitanya, he did not build any temples. But he told his disciples that they went like Rupa and Sanatan and would go to Vrindavan, you can establish, you can show people how to worship the deity there. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave instructions to his disciples that they could do these things. He did not personally worry about it. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his, we think we thank you time every day, the, the chanting and the dancing. So why do we give so much importance to deity worship? Because deity worship will keep us also pure and regulated. If there were no deities here, then this morning at 5 o'clock nobody would have been here from Mongol Arti. We would have said, no, just come 8 o'clock, we'll have a class at 8 o'clock. But because the deities are here, we know we have to wake up, we have to go and do puja, and we have to change the dress, we have to have the deity worship program continue. So deity worship is a very important part of Krishna consciousness. You cannot just simply have only Sankirtan or only book distribution. There must be both. There must be the Bhagavata Vidhi and the Panchara Triki. The Bhagavata Vidhi is the preaching and the Panchara Triki the deity worship. They both have to be there. So we want to show everyone the full program of Krishna consciousness. We don't just only have the deity here and sit and wait for people to come and give money. Some people do like that. They will have a deity and they'll put the temple there and they'll simply sit and wait for people to come to give money. But our process is that we must preach. We have the deities here and we also have preaching programs going on. So Srila Prabhupada directed all of these things. He instructed all of us that you don't just put the deity there. You must also preach. You have to also preach. You have to read the books and preach what's in the books. And part of the preaching is also kirtan. Other temples you go to, they simply ring the bell or beat the gong. They don't chant. And sometimes they go here in Malaysia, they, they come to break the coconut. To bring the coconut, to break the coconut, offer the coconut. Hmm. 
when they have the big Thai Pusa, they're worshipping Lord Kartikeya, Lord Murga. At that time, people will come with many coconuts. And they have also the, the chariot. They have Lord Murga on a chariot and they'll pull it through the streets and they'll go the whole night. But there's no kirtan. But when we have Rathiatra, we have a lot of kirtan, the distribution of the holy name. And we give prasadam. We're not just taking coconuts, but we give prasadam. So Srila Prabhupada inaugurated all of these different activities for the pleasure of the deity. Srila Prabhupada taught us how to, how to celebrate these different festivals and how to properly uh, take part in all of these activities. So we have so much to be indebted for Shil, to Srila Prabhupada. And we encourage all of you devotees, although you never personally saw Srila Prabhupada, you should know you also have a relationship with Prabhupada. Because Srila Prabhupada is the instructing spiritual master for all of the devotees in the Krishna consciousness movement. And you may not know, you've never had the opportunity to meet Srila Prabhupada but you've had the opportunity to meet disciples of Srila Prabhupada and disciples of disciples of Srila Prabhupada. And so just like Shonakarishi, he's appreciating his good fortune to meet Sutta Goswami. And Sutta Goswami, he heard the Srimad Bhagavatam when Sukadeva Goswami was speaking it to Maharaj Pariksit. And Sukadeva Goswami heard the Srimad Bhagavatam from his father Vyasadeva, who heard it all from Narada Muni. And Narada Muni heard it from his father Brahma, who is the Adi Guru in our line of the cyclic succession. So in Srila Bhagavatam, Srila Prabhupada writes about the holy places. He said, you go to the holy place like Vrindavan, you do service there, it's non different as if Krishna was there 5,000 years ago. And you read the Bhagavad Gita and it's non different from Lord Krishna speaking it directly to Arjuna. And so the same way we are hearing from Srila Prabhupada when we read his books. It's non-different from hearing directly from Srila Prabhupada. 
当你阅读圣帕纳书籍的时候，就和直接的在聆听圣帕纳的讲话是没有区别的。So we're we're taking this message of Shri Prabhupada, but having it, the message is translated to all the language of of the world, to everywhere around the world, people are having that opportunity to hear. From Shiva Prabha, from the pure devotee. Shiva Prabha's book is translated to the world's many languages. So, people have the opportunity to hear these messages. And it will protect us from all the dangers of the Kali Yuga. These messages will protect us from all the dangers of the Kali Yuga. When we know there's some danger. We'll take some precautions to protect ourselves. We know oh, there's some danger. Maybe at night it's dangerous to walk on this one street. Or we'll be careful. We won't go on the street alone in the night. So in the same way, we have taken our birth in the Kali Yuga, and we're born on this earth planet, which is a place of passion. We have to be very careful. And it, the planet is not getting any better; it's only becoming worse. More and more problems every year. More the economy is becoming worse and worse every year. The water is polluting. The air is polluting. Everywhere there's so much pollution. 地球的水资源被污染了，空气被污染了，到处都有污染。And only the foolish person is thinking, I am happy. 只有愚蠢的人才认为我在这里很快乐。Probably said actually only two people are happy. One is the self-realized soul, and the other is the fool. 圣帕帕就说过，有两类人很快乐，一类是自我觉悟的灵魂，另一类。Self-realized souls are not very common, but there's a lot of fools. They're thinking, "I'm happy. I'm enjoying." What is that enjoyment? That is a, the enjoyment of the ass when the donkey gets kicked in the face. He thinks, "Oh, I'm enjoying." Sri Lanka Prabhupada talked in the purport about education, how it is just simply making people more and more ignorant about the goal of life. Sri Lanka Prabhupada also talked about education. You spend a lot of money to send your children to some school, to some college, just to be educated in ignorance, to become a bigger ass. So our appreciation for all of these things is only possible by the mercy of the devotee of the Lord, like Shri Prabhupada. He opened our eyes. We were all born in the darkest ignorance. But the spiritual master first opened our eyes with the dark light of knowledge. So on this day and every day, we want to offer our respectful obeisances to the feet of Sri Prabhupada 
and beg for his mercy. Please allow me to stay in Krishna consciousness. So on this day, it's customary, all the devotees can make an offering to Srila Prabhupada. We have many wonderful senior devotees here, and it will be very nice to hear from them. Okay, Hare Krishna, Shri Prabhupada, Jai. So I will stop here. Other people want to speak now? Or will we need to set time? 11 o'clock. Oh, okay. Okay. At what time? 11 o'clock? So after the Abhishek, 11 o'clock, then we will invite, we want to hear all the senior devotees speak. Yes, Marichi will speak. And Marichi always speaks. <laughs> but we want to hear some ladies also. We'd like to make an offering to Srila Prabhupada this morning. It'd be very nice. We'd like to hear from you. You can express something, your gratitude to Srila Prabhupada. Tell us something. Maybe you have a dream about Prabhupada. I don't know. Tell us what you'd like to speak to please Srila Prabhupada. Even you're a new devotee, you can speak something. Maharaj, I was having a question, it's okay. Yeah. Um, Maharaj, uh, is Siddha Prabhupada's appearance uh, has been predicted? And when, when, when a prediction is like this, or, or in case of Siddha Prabhupada, can we say that uh, if he is a Shaktiyavesh avatar of Lord Krishna, that will be correct? Yes, I think that that's correct, to say like that, that what Srila Prabhupada achieved was something miraculous. And I don't think it would be wrong for us to describe Srila Prabhupada in that way. Yes, Prabhu. Maharaj, just now Maharaj mentioned that Hare Krishna. Maharaj Jaisnav Maharaj mentioned that uh, Prabhupada will be happy to see the crowd coming to temple. And Maharaj said that every festival we want to have a big crowd. And Maharaj also mentioned that uh, even non festival days we like to see more devotees to come. At the same time, we know that Kali Yuga is progressing very fast. And the quality of Kali Yuga is simple activity. So what Maharaj think that all of us are getting old and uh, we do many temples are uh, uh, people are uh, in our strategies of people coming temples now. So what Maharaj think that uh, we should do in this short time, uh, what should be the focus for us to make the people, devotee, are interested to Krishna consciousness. What Maharaj thing should be our focus in Malaysia, especially? You are asking, do we want big temples or do we just... What, what should be our focus for the next years, Maharaj, to make these people, devotee, are interested to Krishna consciousness? 
What should be our focus in Malaysia? Ma, Ma, you think, uh, in the future, where should we focus in Malaysia? Yeah, our focus is to distribute the message of Krishna consciousness. And we're looking, you know, we, we give that mercy to whoever's willing to hear. And particularly we are interested in the young people, the youth, the, the young people, the youth of the day, that they are the future, they should be like the future devotees, they can take up and take over this Krishna consciousness movement in the future. We want to, you know, people, children, devotees who have children, they can raise their children to be devotees, then it's very good. Just like Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati and our own Srila Prabhupada, they were born in a devotee family. So from their childhood, they were taught Krishna consciousness. So in the case of our Srila Prabhupada, for some time, you know, he was busy with family affairs, but later on he took up fully the mission of Krishna consciousness, which he had had put into him as a child. He said everything he learned from his guru, he'd already learned from his father, except one thing, that was printing books. So we want to put the focus on developing young, young people to become devotees. At the same time we want to maintain the devotees we have. We don't neglect anyone. And we sincerely want to help them and encourage them. We have the opportunity for a temple, then it, that makes it so much easier because then there's a place for devotees to meet, to have their program. Then you have a center, then you have some, you're established there, you have your center, so you have some identity. If you just meet under the tree or you just sit in the park every weekend, you haven't really established yourself. So like this place, this was some good fortune that because of Kalesh Prabhu working for the Penang Development Corporation at that time, he got the opportunity to get a piece of land for our ISKCON society. And other places, you know, just like in Taiping, you, you purchased a nice house there, you have a good property there, so you have to develop it. And the, the development means not only the property, but the congregation. You have to have the people there who are dedicated to maintain that property.
just like Prabhupada installed deities and he was very much concerned that the deity worship would be maintained, that it would go on. No, I was coming to Butterworth, I was coming to this place 20 years ago before we got this building, before we got this land and when we when the offer came for the land I, I said to Jaipadaka Maharaj, I said, you know Butterworth, they only have a few devotees. There was only I met half a dozen devotees sitting in a little shop lot every week. But Jaipataka Swami said, no, you put the temple, people will come. And so they didn't come immediately, it's taken years. The temple has been open about, what, five, seven years? Eight years, yeah. So the temple has been open eight years and we got the biggest crowd ever last night. So that is good things are interesting. People coming. They don't come immediately, come gradually. Prabhupada said about our Krishna consciousness movement, he said, in the beginning people will laugh at you. Mm, you know, funny shaped heads with seekers and wearing the bed sheets. And then, and then he said, the second phase will be they will hate you. They'll be angry at you. They they won't like you because you trouble them all the time. You're always chanting Hare Krishna. You're always teaching, preaching to them that they're in Maya. And you're always trying to get them to give something for Krishna's service, so they, they, they won't like you, they'll hate you even. But then finally he said they will join you. They will realize that everything we told them was right. <laughs> the real life is in Krishna consciousness. So take some time, patience, determination, enthusiasm. Okay, Prabhu. Thank you, Maharaj. Okay, Hare Krishna. Yes, some questions over there, you know? Yes, Hare Krishna. Sisi 我第一次在线下联谊的时候看到圣帕帕德的像
，嗯，让我们全人类从那个物质的痛苦的欲望中解脱出来，啊，然后是为了拯救我们人类而来，然后他的使命，然后我就哭的，呃，就是，呃，就是一直在哭，呃，呃，就是，然后这次呢，就今天这个。呃，圣典，嗯，国家瓦坛这个就是自我觉悟，也是我心中的呃问题吧。就是我，就是作为一个新人，嗯，就是如何呃，就是在，就是感觉自己还不是那么的稳定和有信心，就是如何在突突破自己和觉悟自我方面，呃，就是嗯，希望得到。呃，孤独的一些训示，因为我还有一帮这样的朋友，嗯，需要孤独的一个救赎吧。感恩孤独，感恩大家，谢谢。我若是关心。The question. She's a new fighter. Just tell me the question. Yeah, the question is,、uh, can you give me、uh, some instruction how? Uh, on the path of self-realization, I can progress because I have a short of a shadow, and I also have have some friend that also practicing. Can you give me some、uh, instruction? Yes, chant sixteen rounds of Hare Krishna mantra every day, minimum. I give you 训示就是每天至少每天要念诵十六卷 Hare Krishna. We strictly follow the four regulated principles. 严格遵守四项规范原则。You will make progress. 您您将取得你们将取得进步。Try to regularly read Shri Prabhupada's books and try to associate with devotees. 努力的有规律的阅读圣帕帕的书籍，努力去和奉献者联谊。Okay. Hare Krishna. Okay, we stop here today. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So we'd like to thank His Holiness、uh, Bhakti Vidyanath Nasi Maharaj for his、um, Bhagavad class. Thanks.、Uh, his Grace、uh, Baladev Prabhu wants to give a gift to His Holiness Maharaj. So we'd like to welcome Baladev Prabhu to come and give the gift. Hare So, year 2001, on the Vyasa Puja of my dear spiritual master, His Holiness Mahaprabhu Krishna Goswami. So, I made a gift of him of、uh, Prabhu and、uh, him, and along with Dear Dar Swami,、uh, I made a drawing. So,、uh, in 2002, after the disappearance of my spiritual master, I was serving his samadhi. So somewhere or other, I dream of my good day, and he told me that I am very pleased of what you have given to me on my last Vyasa Puja, and he asked me to make to his all his pilgrimages. So that year, Hari Krishna Baladev Prabhu said, "From then to 2001, his spiritual teacher, his name is Tamala Krishna Goswami Vyasa Puja." 他给他画了一个像，然后呢，当时是跟一代萨米在跟他在一起，然后他的灵性导师接受我，然后等到二零零二年，他的灵性导师引进之后，他做了一个梦，因为他的灵性导师引进之后，他一直在玛雅普服务，他的灵性导师的萨玛迪，在梦中他的灵性导师就说我对于你去年给我维亚萨布贾的那那个礼物呢，非常的满意。So today I I I just want to get a chance. Since, since last night, I was waiting to give this, but only today, I,、um, Krishna, or Prabhupada, or my spiritual master, give me this opportunity to give this、uh, gift to one of the stalwart warrior, soldier of Sri Prabhupada, along with my grandmas. 这个礼物其实我昨天就准备好了，一直等待着机会能够送给马哈迪。不过直到今天才有机会。
我画的这个是马哈拉特和我的 g u r u d e v 在一起的一张图，就是这张画。我希望这个能够非常的取悦他，能够也是取悦我的灵性导师，也能够取悦舒勒帕帕德的一位优秀的门徒，一位非常坚强的一位战士 ，Hari Krishna。Thank you, Baladeva Prabhu. He's a very wonderful artist. 非常感谢巴勒蒂帕布，他是一位特别棒的艺术家。He's a good singer and also, if you notice, in the near the Prashadam place, they have all the sealers that he's traveling. 他其实也是一个特别棒的歌唱家。如果大家去万普萨达姆的时候，看到那个旁边有一个房间里全都是他崇拜的西了。If you have not taken that.